Hi Leo, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Val 33 Tarot. We're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on, Leo, with who you're dealing with. Excuse me. Um, it's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And I do offer same-day personal readings for $20. You get the same day of your purchase. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. I'm going to shuffle the cards out first, and I'll tell you what I see here in regards to uh, who you're dealing with. Okay. Ooh, that was weird. Okay, sorry, I heard something in my ear. Okay. Right. Well, Leo. Here's the thing, it just sucks. Like, I hate to be the one to say this, but I have to tell you, because you and your person aren't going to believe me anyway, so I, I'll just say it. <laughs> I mean, like, you will and you won't, you know what I mean? Like, you're, you're not going to want it to be true. They're just not meant for you. It's just plain and simple. They're not meant for you. Only because they've become karmic. Why? Because they're 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 not making those changes that you had hoped and wished that they would. Um, They're never going to change. Now, both of you show up, and you both are matching each other. So, um, one of you is just kind of a dead fish there, you know, like there's not much there, emotions. The other one's trying to be loving and nurturing and friendly and caring and be there. But when it comes to aggression, rage, using each other for lust and sex, but it's nothing more than that, the both of you pop up. Now, for some of you, I can see that this is someone that you did business with or do business with, or you could have been an ex and you guys are still intermingled. And unfortunately, they know they it's actually the good news is they're guilty for using you for sex because they know that they do well. They get money out of it for being, you know, close to you. Um, and, you know, uh, such as content creators who are exes and are friends and still sleep with each other for the sake of like, share, view, subscribe. Even they have a guilty conscience and they know it's wrong. But that progression. Hmm. Others of you, unfortunately, for so someone that you are in a marriage or relationship with. Or maybe it's a complicated situation ship. Okay, but overall, they know they shouldn't even be using you as a crutch financially anymore. And at the same time, they still feel like emotionally successful with you, though. Like they know if they just cling to you, they'll get where they want to go in life. They start out, you know, and like I said, some of you, could, this could just be friends. It could be a whole, you know, thing of friends, party, celebratory energy, something fun is going on. Now, for some of you, I did get the sense that who you're dealing with has really bad spending habits and doesn't really think about the future. <laughs> Um, you know, whatever. 
uh, they start out happy, celebratory, everything's great with you. And then, I don't know, they lost the money. Now they don't want to really work. They want to get their hands dirty. I go to a nail salon and get my weekly. Oh, I can't do that. You know, I don't know. I'm just saying, uh, you know, it's kind of like that. Honestly, that's the vibe I get. <laughs> the vibe. Um, but the thing is here is uh, they know they're also hanging on to things of valuables that isn't even valuable to them anymore with you and them. Therefore, a few things. They're being greedy and only using you for money and finances and they're being lazy and they don't want to purposely work or make money or do anything at all whatsoever. Whatever the hell they're doing repeatedly ain't working. Then it leads into, do they have you tied into a very twisted contract of some sort, which is why you guys are stuck with each other. Number two, are they just really imbalanced and life is messy, but they don't care to change it? Or are they doing legal or illegal things? Crusty things under the judicial system <laughs> towards you. I don't know but they move really quick and decide to tell you something. They become aware of something here. And then whatever they become aware of, whatever they're saying quickly or moving quickly and talking and saying whatever it may be here, after that, boom, all of a sudden they are, um, well, they go cold. They get aggressive, cold, they're confused. They wanna manipulate you either or. And then it goes into, I want to only use Leo for lust and sex and that's it. Don't care for them, have no passion, no love, or they're just really angry and irritated. And then they choose to well, go another round of being a karmic person and just doing shit that they know it's not going to change. Nothing's going to like you guys have already been here before. Nothing's changing and they don't care. and They know it. This is what causes them to kind of be like, yeah, and I'm starting to not really care much for Leo anyway, emotionally. And then they're like, OK, no, no, I'll just still be committed. I'll still be nice. I'll still be friendly. And they're like, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. My So their deceptions start to play against them. Their own emotions get the best of them. Now they don't know what's up from down. Things are getting revealed in ways that's spooky for them. Now they're going through some shit. Now they're scared and freaking out and don't know what the hell is going on and what to do and what to say. And then this is where they get really guarded. Now all of a sudden, you're the problem. They put their walls up towards you, boundaries, that's it. So then either they just literally stop working with you and making anything happen, especially like money and finances, whatever. Or they get really freaking greedy and keep using you for money. Okay. Um, it's something that even for them, it is a burden. It is such a burden, but they're not going to drop it. And then they're having another, you know, shit, uh, shit stressville here episode, another episode of stressing out and freaking out, but they know what they're putting themselves through. And then they're like, okay, well, whatever, whatever, just let me get back to using my lust and my body and whatever image for Leo. And I'll just get them that way. Or they have no passion for you and they don't want to do absolutely shit because they're irritated and annoyed. But then at the end, it's like, oh, for the sake of progression. So for the sake of progression, you're the cost, I guess. Don't know. Okay, they travel, relocate, move forward or whatever. They just want things to progress and speed up with you. For the, By them acting this way, in their mind, they get what they want. All right, you could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you, bye.